Welcome back to the Daily Grind. So this is not my normal, but today I'm putting together this smoker. So I figure I'd bring you guys along so you can see how easy or hard it is to put together these Oklahoma Joe smokers. Now, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get this out. No way. No way, not on my own. Maybe there's a whole bunch of stuff inside, yeah. All right, so we'll go ahead and, there's no way I'm lifting that with all this in there, out of there. I'm gonna try to do it up here so I have a nice place to sit while doing this. Okay, now I think everything's out. So let's see. Oh, it's still pretty heavy. It's a lot light, lighter though. Oh, let's see. Yeah, there's two more pieces here. All right, so let's see. Oh yeah, that's way lighter. All right. Okay. There we go. It's still heavy, but it's much easier. Let's see, here's the plans. Oh, get some stickers. All right, so first, get a helper. But this was at the very bottom of the thing. You had to actually take it out to be able to read this. So I thought that was pretty funny. This does not say that when you open it. Um, and I opened it right side up. It wasn't upside down because the box is right side up. So this was in the bottom. It says get a helper. This unit is heavy and requires a second person for lifting and moving. Well, I did it. It's all right. All right, so we're just putting together the wheels. I'm guessing it's this. A 12 millimeter flat washer. We slide one of these on. Then this, then another washer. All right. And then a pin. There we go, and that's gonna keep that on. So there's one wheel. go there's the other wheel okay so it said put some cardboard down and have someone else help and roll it on we'll see if I can do this without someone else right. yeah I that was easy that was a lot easier than picking it up out of there so next we're putting the these on. All right, there we go, like that. Angled out, just like that. Uh, wheels go actually on this side, I think. Yep. All right, simple. We'll get the wheels. that well shoot well that was too heavy and the whole thing fell over dang I think this is the bottom shelf. Cool. Let's get a bolt. Let's see how possible this is with one person. Boy, it's hard to get into there. All right, so I'm not gonna tighten this yet. I'm just leaving it, let's get another bolt. But yes, this would be 
a million times easier with an extra person. But I'm guessing if you're like me and you're stubborn and you just want to put it together and not wait for someone else's help, you're probably going to try to do that. So at least we can see how difficult it is. One person. I will say it's really difficult to get these bolts started at this angle. All right, so all the screws are in and then fully tighten those four bolts. Let's make sure that these legs don't flip off. All right, now let's see what we can do here. Oh, okay. So it is possible. Not easy, but possible. This is going to have to be up. Let's see. That goes in. Oof. And then you got to put one of these underneath. All right, that's going to hold it. I'll tighten it later. One of those in, hold it in. There we go. Screws going in from the top on the top part and then from the bottom on the bottom part and the nut goes underneath. It's gonna be fun. Are you kidding me? Oh, that does not work out too well guys that's that's really difficult to get to yeah, i did it but so there's not enough space to get your fingers in there and hold this and this has to go in first because if you stick this through let's see if i can show you i don't know if you can see on the camera there but that screw is too long to get this to fit in so you got to pull it out have that sit right on top before you put the screw in and then you got to actually screw the screw not the nut man all right well these nuts have like the self short uh self holding thing so if i can get this tight enough to where it grips maybe I don't need to get anything underneath there. All right, Let's see if that's gonna slip or not. No, okay, good. Okay, so one thing to look at, this one says the hex head bolt, so it's a little different. Um, don't use this one here, the round head, you want the hex head. And also it looks like the opening here, right there, needs to be opposite of that um, air thing. So, sorry, I don't know terms, guys. I'm not a professional barbecuer. Oh, it's on the inside. Oh. All right. Where I'm putting the screw is on the inside here. And I'm going to be honest, it's pretty awkward to get my fingers in there. Well, there's one. And one thing I want to mention is this wants to roll. So I put underneath this a couple pieces of stuff that keeps it stopping the roll. So it's not going to roll over on me. Whoa. Get the 
this back on. Lined up now, stuck that in. It, I dropped the screw. Okay, moral of the story, don't get junk from Walmart. <laughs> I can't get this stupid thing out. I had just bought this. I had needed a wrench set for something. And I thought, hey, 18 bucks over at Walmart, and it came with the ratchet wrench, but these do not come out. You're supposed to be able to push on this, and it pops out, and it is stuck. Ah, there we go. Connect the firebox and smoke chamber using 8 3 8 inch. Right there. So. This might be difficult without help. That's not light. And then trying to connect them. Yeah, I don't think that's even possible. I'm going to be honest. So I've got to lift this up and it weighs about 30 pounds, 40 pounds, not that heavy, but I've got to stabilize it. And then with the other hand, so that's one handed, hold it. The other hand, put a screw in and then with the hand I'm holding it up, put a nut in. <laughs> now, well, a washer and then nut. So no way, no way. All right, so I got Eli here to help me. So see these holes here? You're gonna put that in just like that, but not not yet. I've gotta put the thing up and get it um, positioned correctly. So I'm gonna put it there. Let's see, hold on. No. All right, is the hole lined up? No. Oh, oh, calm down. Lower, 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 lower. Turn it aside. Not that way, the other way. No more. All right, now, hey, is it in? I gotta hold it, grab one of these little things and put it through. Screw it down. You gotta do both hands. Good. Did it go in? Good. I'm trying my best. I know, you're doing great. Thank you. This should be able Now imagine me trying to do this myself. Hold this and do that. <laughs> Possible. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, there's more of those screws. No, the big ones. I think this is gonna hold it for now. Let me see. Let me see the bolt. Okay, next we're gonna be putting on the handles. Put a couple of these in. Nope. Oh. All right, and then we're just gonna screw the handle in. And that is done. I got the handles on, I got everything on. Then I'll just have to add the grill, the grates inside, and the thing on the front. I'm gonna wait until my wife gets home because I don't think I can carry this down by myself down to where I'm gonna put it out in my, my yard. Now, one thing I'm noticing, I'm not super happy about, is this is not centered properly. So, I don't know if there's a way to Bend that. Nope. I don't know what that's about. It's not perfectly centered. So it's going to let a lot of smoke out. It doesn't close properly. Kind of no way of bending that. So 
it's not centered perfectly so i don't know if that was an issue when i rolled it or dropped it or if this is something a manufacturing issue but if i can't bend it doing that i doubt it rolling like it did did anything could be a manufacturing issue so i'll be able to use all the wood that i chopped up this is all mesquite great for barbecue um, some of it is cured some isn't I, this none of this over here is a couple of these smaller pieces might be but i just cut this tree down maybe a month ago so um, <clears throat> and recently cut it into logs so it's not cured yet it takes six months to a year um, but some of these smaller stuff here this is all cured and ready to go i could use that shouldn't smoke too much should be good that goes right there i think here it says use one of these but it's also saying use one of these um i'm out there's only four of those hex bolts <clears throat> and they were used already Let's stick the smokestack on thing in make sure it's straight up and down and i'll tighten that in a minute i don't have another screw and i don't even know where it's saying to put it almost like seems like it's saying to put it right here so i don't really understand what that's for and the hex watcher head bolt nope and these i was supposed to use <laughs> and i didn't i i didn't use them on the firebox with adding this firebox so hopefully that's okay i don't really feel like undoing that right now and then the temperature gauge it's upside down ah okay so use the bolt if i read it says use the bolt to tighten All right, so that's to hold the fire. All right, and then container here for grease if I want. I can hang it. It's pretty cool. All right, so how's that? There we go, guys. That is done. Not too bad. I will say I'm not super happy about how this is not lining up, but oh well, not the biggest thing in the world, I guess. But this wasn't that bad to put together. It was not fun, I'm gonna be honest. Doing that box, getting that on there, no way you can do it with one person. There is absolutely no way. I mean, unless you can figure out how to prop this up, to the right size or side your right angle I, I i don't think it's possible so definitely you need two people to put this together I, I think this is possible getting this put together and then put together the thing but to get this attached on you you definitely need a second person it's impossible without so it was really difficult even with two um granted it was just me and my son but but overall it wasn't too bad and these are pretty good price for what they are. I think they're, um, I got on sale for around $300. So some of these go for a lot more. Granted, it's not the thickest steel in the world, but it's definitely not super thin either. Um, they make much thinner ones. This is not a like charbroil, I think makes one that is super thin. So it is eighth inch, I think, steel, maybe somewhere around there, which is still, it's better than some of these others that are basically just tin. I mean, they're they're pretty bad. So this is this is pretty good. Um, is it going to be perfect? No. Um, will it last a long time? It'll probably last quite a few years. But it's a decent one. And I just didn't want to go spend the thousand dollars that it costs for a much higher end one. In fact, some of these can go for three thousand dollars. So I just I didn't have that kind of money. But I wanted to get some way to cook. Um, we do live pretty rural and everything in the house is electric. And so if the electricity went out, which it happens sometimes, then we can't cook. So at least I can come out and barbecue. 
Um, and plus, you know, it's great to be able to barbecue. So and I've got the wood for it. So, so if you enjoyed this video, um, please check out some of my other videos. I do a lot with gardening. So I'm growing veggies right now. Tomatoes are almost done. It is, <laughs> it is winter. Um, but I'm out in Texas, so it stays warm yeah, through the winter. Uh, we do get a couple cold nights, but it is what it is. I got carrots, uh, lettuce, radishes, and a lot more radishes over here right now. But I mean, I grow tons of things. I just harvested over here some black eyed peas that we just ate tonight, actually. So I had a whole bed full of black eyed peas and it was great. So I made enough for two meals for my family with it and pretty good. So we don't grow everything that we eat but we do try to grow quite a bit. I've got some cabbage over there and kale and try to eat as much as we can from the garden. So that's what I do. I show that. We've got some chickens as well, as you can see over here. So definitely check out the rest of my channel if you haven't already. Also, if you could subscribe, that helps out and hit the like button. It helps out with the algorithms. I'm going to go and pick all this up and get in the trash can and admire my new grill. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.